Today I felt like showing you how the quick bar can be used efficiently to operate a video hub. So um, we have the, the quick bar device here. It's connected with um, PoE, so Ethernet and power in a single cable. This one was used for configuration just a minute ago, so I can take this one out. And um, what you see when it boots up with this configuration that I found is that it will show you um, input one, two, three, and so forth. And then it shows you NA, not available. There's no output I can route it to. And then you see the menu button over here, which has a small graphic that will show you what happens when you press the different edges of the button. So this is a four-way button. And when I press the lower edge, it goes to output mode. So then instantly, all these buttons are now selecting outputs. So basically, if I select this one, I have now output number one selected. If I press here again, I go back to inputs. And now we see there's a light in the buttons. And you can see that I would now route input number one to output number one, input two to output number one, input three, test three, it's called to output number one, and so forth. Now, uh, if you look in the software just uh, next here, you can see that output number one, and here you see the source that I'm, uh, I'm selecting. So um, probably uh, I should show it to you like this. You can see how these sources are changed as I press this button, and that's pretty cool. Now, another thing that you uh, may know is that you can actually not just uh, change the output that I'm routing to, uh, which is what I did now. So now I changed to output number three, and then we go back here. So now notice three right here. As I press these buttons, this is output number three I'm routing to. If I want to <coughs> route an output beyond number five, what I do is I use the paging action. So if I press on the right edge, I go now to input six, to 10, now we have input 11 to 15, now we have up to input 16. If I press again, I'm back to one to five, but I can also go the other way. So basically this is paging forth and back, which is also reflected in this LED bar right there. And the same is true for the output. So in fact, if I wanna address outputs beyond uh, five, I can do exactly the same thing. So let's pick output number 10. We go back and now we can route input number two to output number 10 and we see that happening right there. So uh, one of the magic things about the Skyhoy panels is that you can actually select multiple outputs. So if I press and hold these keys, then you can see in addition to output number 10, I now have output number three and four selected. And when I go back to routing, then notice what happens to output three, four and 10 they will all receive the same source, the one called program five, like that. And now, as you can, you can see, they are all three changing at the same time. Isn't that cool? Yes. Okay. So um, there was another thing. Uh, if you press the upper edge of this button, you get to presets. So presets means that you have, uh, it's like salvo, something you can, you can recall a, a, a given number of uh, routing on the panel. So I already have a preset defined here called uh, bank five. So if I press this one, you can see that a lot of routing happens over here in the panel um, like that. And uh, I'm also able to save um, these kind of settings from the panel. So maybe if I wanna show you that, I would need to go back here and then um, just do some routing. So uh, you can see that this is what will happen. And then let's change this output around. Okay, that's enough for now. Okay, so if I go on the upper edge again, then if I press to the side, you can see that I now have uh, all the buttons say save. So I wanna save this in bank number one. So I press this one and now you can see bank number one could be recalled. So if I press this one, we should then go back to the state we had just before. When I press this one, I recall the one I just saved. So before and before again, or basically it's just two different things I'm recalling now all on a single little panel. So I think this shows how insanely flexible this is because you can make complex navigation that really gives you access to depth of things in such a little panel with only six buttons and the number of displays. That's pretty cool. You don't need to go that far. You don't need to make it that complex if you want. If you just wanna give somebody six buttons and they cannot mess anything up, then by all means do that but you see how flexible these panels are 
And that's simply just what needs to get done if you are in the business of making universal controllers. You need to provide hardware with this level of flexibility and you have it from us because we are totally non-compromising in terms of giving you the best interfaces for your broadcast control needs. <laughs>